turning now to the Target 12 investigators taking a look at how an election across the Atlantic could reverberate here in the U.S. French voters went to the polls on Sunday for the first round of their presidential election, and the result has Washington and other NATO capitals on edge. 12 News Politics editor Ted Nisi joins us now for a look at what Americans should know about the French election. And Ted, first thing to understand here is that their voting process is quite different from what we do here in the U.S. Yeah, Shannon, Kim, uh, there were a lot of candidates on the ballot yesterday in France, but that was just round one. Now the top two vote getters will go on to the second round in just two weeks, which is a little quicker than our usual two-year presidential election cycle. Certainly, and, and those two candidates moving on to the second round are incumbent French President Emmanuel Macron and challenger Marine Le Pen. That's right. So uh, each of them got about a quarter of the vote in the first round yesterday, so almost half of French voters are now up for grabs in the next two weeks. This is a rematch. Emmanuel Macron beat Le Pen five years ago to win the presidency. Now he's seeking another term. He's kind of tough to pigeonhole. He comes out of the financial world, and he formed a new political party when he ran five years ago, taking some positions from the left and some positions from the right. For American officials in Washington, what's important is that he's a strong believer in NATO and a key leader in the alliance against Russia to fight Ukraine. Marine Le Pen, very different. Analysts categorize her party as far right, particularly on issues like immigration and culture. She's also expressed support for Russian leader Vladimir Putin in the past. That has Western leaders nervous that if Le Pen is elected president in two weeks, it could destabilize NATO and the effort to push back at Russia over Ukraine and other issues. But it's clear Le Pen does have a shot. Polls are close in France right now, and voters there, just like here, say they're frustrated about inflation and the economy. Le Pen is focused on issues like that as she tried to bring her party into the mainstream, whereas Macron has angered some voters with economic reforms like raising the retirement age. So it's safe to say it won't just be French citizens paying a lot of attention to politics there in the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fascinating. A reminder of how an election in any major country Country has ripple effects. Mm -hmm. impact Absolutely. The rest of the world. Yep. All right, looking ahead, uh, Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor has a follow up tonight on his story, Losing Ground. Yeah, Shannon, this is a follow up to a report last month, you may recall, where Tolly showed how a federal program to raise at risk homes on the Rhode Island coastline was underutilized. Tonight, he talks to a woman who bought a beachfront home in South Kingstown. She saw Tolly's original report and reached out, but looks like it could be a tough road ahead for her, and he'll explain why coming up at five. Yeah, those images, you can just see how close that water is getting to her. Yeah, home. yeah, scary. All right, Target 12 investigator Ted Nisi, thanks so much for being here. Good to be here.